أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين خاتم النبيين سيدنا وحبيب قلوبنا وشفيع ذنوبنا أبي القاسم محمد وعلى آل بيت الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين respected scholars, sisters and brothers السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته It's such a blessing, alhamdulillah, to be able to celebrate another year um, of the birth of our 12th and awaited Imam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hasten his reappearance. I pray that inshallah we're all raised as his soldiers and are able to celebrate his birth with him next year inshallah. I have a couple poems. I don't want to bore any of you. This one is called, Where Are You? Where are, Where are you? If I could repeat this question again, I'd throw it into the galaxy that has hidden you. If I could hold on to this answer, I'd hold on to its letters tighter than a mother to her child. If I could hold the knowledge to these three words, I'd shape it out for you because master, master, we've yearned for it all, yet decided on you. Where are you? I wish to know, where does the son of Zahra gather from day to day? If I knew which garden your name was planted, I'd pick you like a sweet bouquet. I'd tell all of the kingdoms about your name until you come to take away our pain. Master, master, the only pain is the lack of you. For we have lived just like you have too. And if all of these 1,183 years were to speak, they'd cry in agony. They'd cry in the only language we can understand. They'd speak in agony as they try to understand how swiftly time has gone when we've yet to see your face break the silence of this dawn. But it is only when I awake and open the door of this Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون. I can pray until the stars wither in dismay of you, for are we not the ones who wish to see your name engraved on our moon? Master, the world is in need of you, and if death takes me before the sun rises, know I'll be writing your name on the flesh that lived to await you. I'll be writing your name on my gravestone until the final song blows. Hasten, for this prayer has soothed the ache of my heart through the whispers of my tongue and held me captive through your absence. Hasten. I've never recited a prayer so loudly until I felt the universe collide with the ocean tides that roared in pain because they miss you too. Master, I'll call upon your name as it acts as a seed that makes the driest of soils fertile. Your name that pushed the wind through the most broken of windmills. Master, I have told you how much this universe longs for you. How many times we've prayed for you. How much time has passed in awe of you. But master, I have not told you how many times we've betrayed you. I stand here on a minbar, on a podium, on a pulpit. I stand on the highest of mountain peaks in the form of a, a man-made structure, calling upon your soldiers in the love that has flooded oceans, but failed to see what you wish for us to be. Master, you're still waiting for your 313. And I just hope we can be what Malik al Ashtar was to Ali. Aflaha man salla ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. I hope we can all relate to this next poem. I hope we have all written at least one letter to the Imam once in our lifetime. Before I seal what is in this letter, let me begin in the name in which I favor. I write the ink, I write with the ink of all those martyred. I stitch these words onto this paper. I write to the only savior before my life away it withers. 
He stands before me, a leader. He stands before his creator. I stand at the door in hopes of entrance to be alive when all else fails to glimmer. To the beacon of my existence, we long for your reappearance. In a letter that is limited, what, which words do you justice? Nothing, nothing of which I write will elevate your status, for you are hired, and you hire your belongings, and I continue to write on this single paper, and I begin to sail the seas of all these letters, wondering to which you will answer. Is it to my own or to another, to a child or a mother? I sit sleepless. I sit sleepless, letting my mind wander to who shall you think, to who will you deliver. But before I seal what is in this letter, before I let go of my pen in your honor, before I let the sunset savor all that's in its departure, before the river carries my name in your hands captured, before these words of mine wither, before hearts no longer remain tender, before all my other wishes, all my other needs, before I seal what is in this letter, I read my words as a painted scripture. I write to you a letter. Before my days expire, reappear and record me as your follower. Reappear and record me as your follower. For the love of Imam al Mahdi, raise your voices in the loudest of salawats ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. I've been speaking a lot about being the follower of Imam al Mahdi, alayhi salam. And I hope that we can be even that because that's something that, you know, like we talk about it and we wish to attain it, but do we actually work on it? Like, I obviously, I speak to myself first and I'm in no position or level to preach anything about this. But at the same time, are we actually working? Are we actively working upon ourselves to be actual and true followers of Imam al-Mahdi? Are we trying to be the 313 that he wants? Because after all, if that 313 was ready, he would be here sitting with us and celebrating. And I hope he is here spiritually. I'm going to end with my last uh, poem. Just like the sun and its rise, just like the son of Hassan will rise, just like the flag upon the dome of Hussein remains high, my hand on my head remains as for you will rise. The sun rises from the east and ends in the west. He'll rise and change the direction of the sun in our youth. He walks with the tides pulled by the moon, yet reflects the light of the one who split it into two. Just like the miracle of Nargis remained hidden, just like the miracle of Maryam was given, this is the Qa'im, to him belongs all of the greatest nations. A slay will him all terrorist nations. Call his grandfather Ali. Call his grandfather Ali and mention the flower of this world's rotation for he rises from the rise of our prostration as he takes back the right of Muhammad's holy nations. And just like Maytham and Abu Dhar, just like Kumail and Malik al-Ashtar, just like them all who brought pride to their masters, let's bring to him more as our faults we shall alter for wishing to be with Hussein. For wishing to be with Hussein is preparing to be with our savior. Knowing the mistakes in history as their honor we tried to harbor. I knew of a man who saw their mercy between his eyes, yet managed to be the now cursed and killer. If we saw history, and again it repeats once more, and when he rises in my faith I bore, what have I done besides drown in history's retelling? In the time of occultation, we have made him our every reason. For our only reason is Ali, and he is his descendant. For every lover named Shia holds him as a crown on our head. And no single tear we shall shed is wasted if shed for the household of Muhammad. As we are terrorized for such a love, the love of Muhammad to the Wali, like the love of Fatima to Ali. The love of freedom became our single melody. The freedom, the love of freedom became our single melody as now we know nothing besides the awaited Mahdi. And just like the sands would only understand Ali, 
The letters we send are to him, and if we are ready, for he waits and waits as our faith becomes steady. And when we rise, he will too, for no one understands him before more than one single army whose revolution begins with love and burns down the thoughts of hypocrisy. For in battle and in prayer, they'll always call out to Ali. Aflaha man salla ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Thank you so much for listening to the words that will never do justice to Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. If we can kindly, um, if we can kindly introduce Sheikh Jahangir with a loud salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. <laughs>